Hi everyone, my name is Electro Donkey, and uh, today we're back on the No Man's Sky type project we've got going. So, if you remember in the last video, we did some ore work and we started to create the ores and everything, but we did have a few glitches and issues that we needed to iron out. Now, that's what we're going to be doing in this video, just ironing out those little uh, tiny issues. So, uh, let's jump right in to the world gem and the creator planet. So what we want to be doing first is the issue with it overriding the trees basically and leaving a tree without a bottom branch. Now that isn't going to work whatsoever. So just in here as a check we're going to say if planet. Now because it's a random variable we're going to just we're not going to bother changing anything around. We're just going to say if it equals if it does not equal pk block wood then we're going to place an order and that should eliminate the issue with it overriding the wood we would still however have the issue with the stone not being drawn but I think that's a pretty simple thing to fix so fingers crossed this will work and we can go on to the next stage now we have to wait for it to load. This is always the most fun part in the videos, just waiting, waiting, waiting till the Yo-Yo uh, Games compiler finishes, which doesn't normally take too long, but for some reason on this game it takes forever. Right, now we go into the world, and you can see none of them are overriding it. Let's just try it again just to make sure. Nope, none of them are underneath the trees, and everything is working like it should be. You see there there's five that's right so that's pretty much perfect but as you can see there is still no stone underneath them which looks a bit weird and a bit peculiar so let's go do that now uh, in the object world gen the create create the planet and we're going to want to scroll down until we find the stone Okay, randomize the stone odds, place the stone. If planet x equals that, so basically we want to say or. Oh no, wait, sorry, this bit here. We want to just copy this, because we did it for the wood anyway, into there, and uh, we just need to change this to or. Pretty self-explanatory. If the thing equals either air, wood, or an ore, it will place the stone underneath. Yeah. Self-explanatory, pretty much. And we did that for the wood as well, because otherwise the stone wouldn't draw underneath the wood. And again, it looks really peculiar. Uh, I will maybe, in the future, incorporate some extra scripts that I've come up with uh, to do with basically compiling everything to make it a lot more easier a lot more easier a lot easier um, so I, I got loads of variables and made it into one huge script that is basically a database now, maybe we'll do that later maybe we won't so as you can see it is now drawing it underneath and you know it looks pretty pretty good so now you can uh, effectively go around minies when we have the inventory in and they randomly spawn in your world now so you can go ahead and change them to be whatever you really want to whatever you fancy doing you could make them bigger you can make them smaller you could do whatever you want to do with that so what should we do in the future now i'm not really sure what we should do now uh, if you have any ideas any suggestions drop them in the comments below um, I read all of them, so you may as well give it a go, and I'll probably take it on board and do it, if I can, you know, if it's possible. Um, but, anyway, I, this has been an incredibly short episode, but we've wrapped up everything I want to do. I wouldn't really want to go on to anything else, because it might start to confuse things. So just for today, we're just finishing off some issues and errors, and it'll just be a slightly shorter video. Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, remember to like, subscribe, or just do what you guys want to do, and I'll talk to you in the next one.